for you is quite simple. Why are you here today? To learn more. To learn? To change? To grow? To be successful. All right, so everything that Spencer was saying earlier on, to come to these events and leave here with a pad full of notes is one thing. To go and do something about it and take action, that's another thing completely. Does that make sense? All right. So some of the most commonly asked questions that there are, there's normally, the, the most commonly asked question when someone meets you for the first time is normally, hello, how are you? Right? Hi, how are you? So if I asked you right now, how are you? Energized, all right? How are you? How are you guys? Tell me. Fine. Great. Great. Fine. Happy. Brilliant. Awesome. Super. Brilliant. Okay. So what that does is that defines your state, all right? This is the state that you are in. This is your energy frequency that you are putting out. Now, most people, when you say, hi, how are you? In a normal scenario, when it's not jazzed up with energy and international speakers, most people, what is the normal answer to hello, how are you? Fine, right? Fine. Hi, how are you? Fine. <laughs> Depressed. Basically, life is crap and I'm just kind of getting along. Yeah? Hi, how are you? Fine. It doesn't really work, does it? All right, so you obviously want to give the energy. The most important question to follow that is fantastic, thank you, and you. Yes? What is the number one thing that everyone wants to speak about? Themselves. Themselves. So the best topic you can ever speak about is someone else. Does that make sense? Okay, so it, it actually comes down to that. I mean, if someone came up to me, and I'm just using myself as an, as an example, but if someone comes up to you and goes, hi, how are you? Where are you from? So what do you do? And what about this? And how's your mom? And where's your dad? What else have you done? And what's your life? And what, 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 what? And just talks about you for 20 minutes and then leaves. I guarantee all you'll think to yourself is, what a nice guy. Yeah? Because all they've done is just boosted your ego throughout. You are the most important person in your life, yes, but you do need to make it transferable. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. So, um, so as I say, my name is Dean. I run a program up in, uh, down in South Africa called Pride Factor. All right? We inspire, guide, and mentor teenagers and young adults to go and live their ultimate lives. If you are a parent, what's the number one thing you want for your kids? Happiness, yes? You want them to be safe, you want them to be strong, you want them to be making the right decisions, you want them to be mature, you want them to be wise, you want them da 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 But the main thing is happiness, isn't it? So it's about being confident and making decisions for yourself. And the world that we're living in at the moment is so, is changing so quickly that the, the curvature of change is so steep that we need to prepare these youngsters for what to expect. What are they going to expect? Well, we have no clue. All right, so you need to just give them some fundamental foundations from which they can build up. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing with you today. All right, it's exactly what we did with you yesterday too. But we're going to be growing it more so. So I just kind of want to introduce myself, and that is exactly what we do with the youngsters, right? We make exactly what the content is that you've been going through for the last two days. We coolify it. We bring the celebrities in, we get the prizes and the gifts, we bring it high energy, we make it sexy, we make it fun, we make it cool, and we deliver it to the youngsters of today. Does that make sense, guys? Because unfortunately, if there's something that we have learned, that is that teenagers and young adults, if you remember yourself as a youngster, you didn't normally want to speak to your parents about the most pressing matters. Sex, drugs, alcohol, uh, persuasions, influences, all these kind of things. You want to speak to someone that you can trust, okay? Or you want to hear about it from someone that you can relate to, someone you look up to. Does that make sense, guys? I'm not putting you down by any means by being a mother or a father, but these are, this is the research that we've done, and these are the, the things that people want to talk to about other people. So there's a bunch of skills that we can teach these young people, and one of the main things is confidence, all right? Confidence. I'm repeating what I said yesterday, but it's vital. Confidence, please write this down. Confidence is keeping your promises to yourself. Confidence is keeping your promises to yourself. If you want to do something, you say you're going to do it, go and do it. Okay? You've come here today. You've taken action by getting out of bed, getting dressed up, and coming down here today. So give yourselves a pat on the back for being here.
but you need to take proper action. Otherwise, you're going to leave here with a notepad full of, full of notes, a book full of notes. It's going to get home. You're going to leave it on the dresser when you get in. And about three weeks' time, you're going to notice it again, and it's going to go into the bookshelf. And the next time you move houses is the next time you're going to see it. And I can guarantee you, if we have another success summit next year, you'll be back. Does that make sense? Do you ever look at Facebook memories? I love the Facebook memories. Yeah, Facebook memories. If you go back one year, or two years, or three years, do you ever think sometimes that you're on a bit of a parallel path? Not, not a lot has changed since last year. You know you can do something about that, right? And you know you are the only person that can do something about that, right? It's up to you, okay? When you leave school, when you leave the nest, it's, it's all on you. You're responsible for your own actions. So I'm just going to give you a couple of pieces of content today on how to, how to get the most out of today, all right? There is a psychologist and a philosopher by the name of Sir Robert Diltz. Has anyone heard of Robert Diltz? No? Okay. Yes? Okay. So Robert Diltz. Robert Diltz came up with a fantastic theory, all right? And he said that there is a very large fundamental difference between successful people be it wealth, health, happiness, success, abundance, money, or just happiness, living lives, and unsuccessful people, people that want it, people that wish they had it, people that try and cut other people's trees down. There's a fundamental difference, and there's four simple steps, all right? It is called the belief cycle, okay? A belief cycle. Let's do this in green. Need a better color. So the first thing that you've got in a belief cycle, obviously, is your belief. Okay, so by coming here today, you've got a belief inside of you that you can change something about your scenario. Hands up who is currently, hands up who's currently, let's say, sick and tired of their current financial, finish in the hands again. Who's sick and tired of their current financial situation? Put your hands up. Wow, okay. Who's just wanting change in their lives for improvement? Hands up. All right, fantastic, put them up proud. There we go, this is why we're here. So the number one thing is having a belief, okay? Believing that you can change something about the situation that you're in. Do you believe that you can improve your situation, yes or no? Yes. yes. Do you believe you can change your situation, yes or no? Yes. There we go, all right. So the second thing that comes from the belief cycle is obviously what we're busy doing here, action. The second thing that successful people do is once they've got a belief, they take action. They take massive action. You've got to change something about the cycle that you're currently in in order to make it more improved. Everyone understanding that? Say aye. Aye. Okay, so you've got to take action. Having a belief is one thing. Taking action is the next step, correct? All right. The third thing that he found was that you therefore needed some resources, all right? Resources. You've got to put in some resources. Now, by resources, what am I talking about? Time, money, energy, effort. You normally need to put in a little bit of time. Okay, let's just do this. Up. Time, money, and energy or effort. Okay, TME. All right. You've got to put something into it. So these are the resources that everyone have available to them. All right, you've got to work some extra hours or do a little bit of investing or try and learn some more information about these things. If you have a belief and you take some action and you put in some resources, what that's going to do is that is going to provide you with a result. So now you've got a tangible or a psychological result. Something in your life has changed. Is everyone following me? Yes? Okay. So you have a belief, you take action, you put in some effort and some time and some money, and you will get a result. Now most people think that that's where the cycle ends. But it's actually where it begins. Okay, it's always these little tricks of the trade, isn't it? There's always some kind of like little flip over. Your result will therefore confirm your belief. The most vital part. Your result confirms your belief. Okay, so let's take a look at this on a negative side. So let's say we arrived here today and we're like, no, I don't really believe in this kind of thing. I've just been dragged along. So here I am. Why not? 
bit negative, a bit miserable, just want to get out of here looking at your watch every 10 minutes. How much action are you seriously going to take? A lot or a little? A little, if anything, right? You're going to get home then, you're going to look at the workbook, and you're going to be like, oh, yeah, not really for me. So you've taken little belief, you've taken little action. How much time, money, and effort are you going to put into something that you don't really believe in or taking action towards? A lot or a little? You're not going to do very much about it, are you? No. What's your result going to be like? Minimal. You're not going to see anything. All right? And what's that going to do? It's going to confirm your belief. You're going to say to yourself, the most powerful words that there are on the planet, I am right. I don't believe in it, I don't take any action, I don't do anything with it, and nothing happened. Ha! Look at me, I knew it the whole time. And your ego is going to start feeding itself. Does that make sense? So that's the negative side, you don't want to even allow that in. So let's look at the positive side. You arrive here with belief. You do believe that these people can possibly paint you a picture or show you a piece of content or give you some information that could quite easily change your lives for the better. Do you believe in it, yes or no? Yes. Do you believe in it, yes or no? Yes. Fantastic. Are we going to take action, yes or no? Yes. Are we going to take action, yes or no? Yes. yes. Are you going to allow yourself some resources to put into this? Yes. Have you got some time, money, and effort you can put into this to improving your lives? Yes, yes or no? What do you think your results are going to be like? Fantastic! And as soon as your result is fantastic, all that goes to you is it confirms your belief, and then you get to say those words to yourself. And what are those words? I was right! Do you see what we're saying here, guys? All right? So this is Robert Stilt's belief cycle. Have a belief, take some action, put in some resources, and that will show you the result. And the minute you see a piece of positive result, you're going to see the belief, You'll take a little bit more action, put in some more resources, get a bigger result. And then you'll put in some more belief, a little bit more, da, 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 da. and then we've got a lovely little belief cycle. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff that we do. Yes. What? Okay. Okay. All right. It's fine. Okay. And there was also a girl that gave me a t-shirt that wanted a free t-shirt as well. Did everyone hear that? Yeah. Okay. The lady believes I'm going to give her a t-shirt. She's now taking some action by asking me for the t-shirt. We now need to employ some resources, right? So that means I've got a little bit of leverage, isn't there? Yes? So what should we get her to do? Can we say something else? <laughs> Let's all 
stand up. I'm gonna teach you a little trick here. Let's all stand up. I know some people don't like it. What is the number one thing, what is the number one skill that you can use in life? It's confidence, okay? So everyone, put your, put your feet together, slump over a little bit. 